Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I am going to be giving you my updated and improved versions of FPS++, the FPS Unlocker, the Breath of the Wild FPS++ Arrowfix graphics pack, and also an updated version of my Clarity preset, which is going to give you absolutely awesome in-game visuals in Breath of the Wild. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to download and extract these graphics graphics packs, I'm simply going to extract this FPS bundle graphics pack first. So simply using a 7-zip, right click and select extract here. This will give you this FPS++ version, it will give you this experimental arrow fix graphics pack, it will also give you this frame rate unlocker and it will also give you this Breath of the Wild FPS cap select. Now all you want to do once you have these extracted is you want to come to your CMU 1.14.0 folder and simply open it. Once you have it opened, open your graphics pack folder and once this folder is open you simply want to select all four of these graphics packs and drag and drop them right here. So when you scroll down you should see all four of these graphics packs already in your directory. Next, in order to add my clarity preset, simply once again right click it, use 7-zip and select extract here. Once this is extracted, once again drag and drop this over into your CMU folder and you've now added all of these new graphics packs I have just provided you. Next, we want to actually load cmu.exe. Once your emulator version has loaded, simply come to Options, Graphics Packs and when you come to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Modifications, you will see this FPS++ Dynamic FPS. Now this is pretty much the same thing as the actual FPS++ that comes with the main repository, but it is going to work in a different fashion when you use it in combination with the other graphics packs. So with FPS++ you can see that when you select it you have these different presets. However, the default for FPS++ is 30 FPS for some reason, which tends to make it a little bit confusing for people to use. You can also assign any of these other frame rate values. With these packs I am going to be giving you, I hope to give you a little bit more control and understanding over exactly what you're doing. So this is FPS++, the dynamic FPS patch. You can see exactly what it does in its description right here. Just have a quick read through if you want to know exactly what it does. Then you have the experimental arrow fix graphics pack which is going to fix the speed of the arrows which is an issue with FPS++. Basically what happens is if you're over 45 FPS your arrows will drop faster than they're meant to. Now you also have this frame rate unlocker which will basically completely remove the FPS cap and allow your game to run as fast as it possibly can on your own system. Generally I don't use this unless I'm benchmarking Breath of the Wild to see how much performance has increased. Instead I tend to use this selectable FPS cap. So when you click on this selectable FPS cap, you are going to be given all of these different options. So simply click on it, and when you come across to the active preset, you can see that its default is 60 FPS, which in and of itself is way less confusing than the original FPS++ since you're going to be 60 FPS instead of 30 FPS. Then you have all of these different values right here with some nice descriptions telling you which are going to be best to use for you. Since I myself use a 144Hz monitor, I am going to use this 75FPS graphics pack since it's exactly half of the refresh rate of my monitor. However, you can use whichever one of these you want to use and whichever value you assign will be the maximum frame rate that you can attain when using this new dynamic FPS pack. Next, we want to come down to the Enhancements tab in these Breath of the Wild graphics packs and as you can see, we have now added the BSOD Realistic Clarity Official graphics pack. Now, you probably would have already noticed if you have already used the Clarity pack that comes with the main repository of graphics packs that there is indeed a BSOD gaming preset in here. However, this isn't actually my preset. Uh, for anybody who has been in my Discord for a while, you would be aware that Jamie, who also made their very own awesome clarity preset, basically ported over most of the visuals from my original clarity realistic pack and while it does look good, it doesn't look exactly like it should and this is my actual realistic clarity pack which in my opinion is probably one of my favourites. Probably my second favourite would be the Surfrost preset because its colours are just so nice. 
Okay, so now that we have all of those graphics packs turned on, we are going to now load into game, we're going to test if our 72 frame rate cap is working, we're going to test if the experimental arrow fix is still correctly working, which it is going to be, and we're also going to be testing out and seeing exactly how my clarity preset looks in CMU 1.14.0. Okay, so now that we're loaded into game, you can indeed see that my clarity preset is loaded. You can also see that once performance stabilizes and we hit a maximum frame rate cap, it's not going to go over 72 frames per second. Now, in this video, I am using a 1440p resolution pack, so my frame rate is probably going to hover in and around 60 frames per second in this very demanding area on the Great Plateau. And as you can see, the colors are just absolutely perfect to how they should look in my clarity preset. Now, now, for anybody who was around when I originally made this preset, I originally made it so that it had a very similar colour palette to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. If we come to my inventory and put on any one of the Link outfits, the main one I modelled it off was the Cap of Time since this Link outfit is probably my favourite in Breath of the Wild. And as you can see, the colours are very, very nice indeed and are very, very similar to what you would see in Twilight Princess. And yes, before you say it, I know that this isn't the Link character outfit set from Twilight Princess, it's just my favourite one, so that's why I modelled it on this outfit. So when we equip our worst bow, you can also see that arrow drop is now correctly working with this experimental arrow fix turned on, meaning that all of these packs are now successfully working and ported to CMU 1.14.0 and should completely and fully work with all future CMU releases. So to accurately give you guys a fairly good understanding of how this graphics pack looks looks in both daytime in a very bright situation and then in a very dark area I'm also going to be showing off what the game looks like with this clarity preset in the Elden region. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, I hope these graphics packs are going to be of some use to you. As always, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.